My name is Steve Pollard, and I'm a survivor of hepatitis C. I do not know how I was infected. It was, in fact, in my body for approximately two decades without my knowledge, uh, which did lead me to two liver transplants. In 2009, I started to feel ill. And almost immediately, they figured out that I had hepatitis C, and it was eating away at my liver. The first liver transplant, uh, it, it was exciting. It was like winning the Super Bowl. You know, finally, I get to have a gift of life. And uh, unfortunately, it wasn't a perfect match for my body. The second transplant uh, came along after spending seven and a half months in the hospital. Uh, it was far easier. It, uh, it took right away. My jaundice uh, immediately left my body. Unfortunately, after the second transplant, the hepatitis C had recycled itself in my body, meaning that it was now eating at my brand new liver that was functioning perfectly. Shortly thereafter, there, it came to light that there was new trial treatments becoming available for hepatitis C, and my specialist strongly figured that this was the cure. The medication that is now available it is one pill a day. In most cases, some, some different medications might be two pills a day. Uh, for a few weeks, it's not much more side effect than taking a vitamin in the morning. Your energy immediately fluctuates, meaning you're gonna feel better and you, you're cured. The consequences of not getting tested is Eventually, undetected hepatitis C will try to take your life. There's still approximately a quarter of a million Canadians affected by hepatitis C, and half of them don't know that they have it. This disease is it, it's very easily eradicated. But we need Canadians to come forward. We need them to get tested to get this taken care of.